anyone ever asked you about someone whom you maybe didn't know, but you knew their family or you knew someone in their family? A lot of times we might make assumptions about someone based off of their family. Whether we want to admit it or not, we sometimes share our same characteristics as our family, such as our physical characteristics, our personality, or some of our interests. Well, the same is true for plants. All plants are divided into families, and a lot of times they share similar characteristics. This can help you as a gardener if you know some of those plant family characteristics with identification and pest control. Here we have a cotton plant, and you see this growing in the agriculture fields a lot. We have an ornamental black cotton here as well. Now, this plant is in the mallow AC family or the mallow family. And a few characteristics that define this family is that it has palmate venation. And you can see on the leaves that the veins radiate out from the center of the leaf. And if you think about your hand and how your fingers radiate out from the palm, you'll see palmate venation. Now the other thing is that these have a flower that have five petals and also five stamen. When they start to fruit, they produce a fruit that is a capsule. And again, it will have five uh, compartments to that capsule. Now over here, we have another plant that we often see in our vegetable garden, and this is okra. Okra is also in the Maloaceae family, and you might see some similarities. If you look at the leaf, while it's deeply lobed, it also has palmate venation and it has flowers that also have five petals and five stamen. Now sometimes those stamen may be fused. Of course the fruit again has a nice capsule fruit that will break open. Now if you look at the cotton flower and also the okra flower you might see some similarities there and recognize it as another plant that we know in our landscape and that's the Rose of Sharon or the hibiscus. These two plants are also in the Maloaceae family, or better known as the Mallow family. And there's a few sweet treats that we also get from this family. The marshmallow, the cacao, and also the cola plant. You want to make sure not to make any dangerous assumptions about plants just because they are in a certain plant family. In fact, even though we eat peppers and tomatoes, there's many, many plants in the nightshade family that are toxic, including this nightshade here that we often see growing in our pastures. Even though it has a tomato-like fruit, this is a toxic plant. Now, there's about 67 plant families that actually only have one existing species in them. For example, the ginkgo biloba. The ginkgo biloba is the only plant that is actually in the Ginkgoaceae family. There are a lot of plants to know and there's a lot of plant families, but in fact, 50%, over 50% of all the existing plants are in the top 15 plant families. I'd be remiss not to talk about a couple of those, including the largest plant family, the Asteraceae family, or the sunflower family. This plant family includes all of those plants that have a disc and ray florets. So if you think about a sunflower, that's one from this family, as well as the daisy and the chrysanthemum, as well as the dandelion. Another important plant family that we have is the poaceae family or the grass family. It has characteristics of having a hollow stem and long parallel veins and also leaves that wrap around the stem. The stem's usually divided at nodes as well. Now, we have a lot of different plants that come out of this, including pearl millet, our ornamental millet, our ornamental grasses, as well as our turf grasses. So this is a critical plant family. Now, there's two plants that we often call grasses that really aren't, and that's monkey grass and mondo grass. If you look at these plants, they have a long strappy leaf, but they're not actually hollow. Now, as a gardener, this is important to know because often we use these plants as borders and edges along our flower beds. And if that Bermuda grass creeps into it, we could get a grass specific herbicide that would kill out that Bermuda grass and it wouldn't harm our liriope. There's a lot of plant families, and as you can see, they each have their own unique characteristics. 
We've only just touched on a few here, but I hope next time that you're looking at what plant is what, not only do you give consideration to the name, but you also take a look at which family it's in. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.